Let's get started our first Game Maker video here. Gonna introduce you to some of the basics. Uh, we're gonna get a lot done in the next few videos. And uh, the first thing we wanna do is you wanna hit your file new and get a new project going. Pick a good spot. You'll see here that I've made a folder called Game Programming Course. And let's give this a good name. Since we're making a two-player game, we may as well call this two-player game and create. Now, you're going to notice you see the basic Game Maker layout here. These are all your resources that you'll be filling up as you make a game. Things like sprites, which are graphics, sounds, backgrounds, objects, rooms, scripts or bits of code and everything else we'll eventually get to. Today we're going to focus on mainly just a few of these. The graphics, the objects, and putting them in the room. That's enough to get a game going and then we get to hit the green button to play the game. So let's get this thing started. First thing we're going to add some graphics by right clicking on the sprite folder and selecting create sprite. One of the things in my game is going to be a wall, so I'm going to get a sprite for a wall. I'm going to give it a good name, S P R underscore wall. I'm going to do this in the entire course. I'm going to name sprites S P R, basically to indicate it's a sprite. Later on in your code, you'll sometimes type this in. At least you know that's a sprite, rather than just calling it wall, which can be confusing. We're going to load a sprite. If you've downloaded the resources folder and unzipped it already, you can go to the all resources folder, go into level two, and here's a couple of the graphics that we'll use. You're free to use anything you want, but if you want it to match mine, stick with this folder. I'm gonna pick the floating ghost. Uh, just a little side note, if you don't see the graphics, you probably have this option in your window to change to icons so you can actually see what they look like. Click open. Whoops, I'm picking a wall here. So let's pick the wall. There we go. You'll notice the wall pops up. There's something called the origin. The origin right now is set to 0, 0. That's where Game Maker considers the center of this object. I'd actually like for this project for everything to be centered in the middle. So you can just hit center, which is a popular option and you'll see now the center point is there. Okay. When Game Maker puts us in the room, that's going to be considered its position, okay, wherever those crosshairs are. So we'll do that for every single object in this project. Hit OK. Perfect. I'm going to grab player 1. SPR underscore player 1. Load a sprite. This is the one I'll take the ghost for. Center it. Let's get this window out of the way. And let's make another sprite. Player one's going to fire something. SPR underscore ball one. Load. Let's take this ball. Center it. Okay. And that's it for now. Walls player, ball. These are just graphics. Now we're going to set up the objects. Right click, create object. The same way that I started all the sprites with SPR, I'm going to start the objects with OBJ. Player 1. Notice I make it match. You don't have to, but it's nice, convenient, right? Easy on your memory. Pick a sprite. Player one. You'll see a few options here. Visible is good. No, no, no. We'll talk about all this stuff later, but for now, don't worry about it. Just visible is good. We'll make object OBJ ball one. Pick the sprite. Visible is good. And now we'll make the wall. 
OBJ, wall. Obviously the wall. And before we hit OK, walls are going to be special. Tick solid for now. We're not going to go into too much detail, but you know the walls are going to be special. Something about them, right? We want them to stop things. Nothing gets through them. And so for now, just tick solid and then OK. Sprite's done. Object's done. Now let's create a room. Right click, create room. You can make this window full screen if you want. The Game Maker Room has a couple of tabs here. If you click on Settings, you can set the room size, 640 by 480. For us in practicing, that's totally fine. What we're concerned with here is just leaving the room that size, but going to the Objects tab. When you're on the Objects tab, you're going to be able to add the objects we just made. So for instance, I can select player one and let's plunk player one in the room. I'm not going to bother putting a ball in the room. Okay, we're going to wait. Player one's going to fire the ball out later. And we'd like to put some walls in the room. Now, don't waste too much time doing any fancy level work here. But you can just click, 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 click. And you can fill the room up. Now there's actually something fancy here. If you actually read the instructions, you can actually hold the shift key down. Hold it down and left click, holding that left click down. Come on. Ah, it's not working for me. Hey, I'll just click away here. And just make yourself a room. Now, if you goof up by putting maybe a few walls on top of each other, you can always right click, delete, right click, delete, you know, to fix your room. It's not too important right now. I know a lot of students like to make a fancy level at this point. Uh, we just want a nice open room so we have room to move and test things out. And there we go. Okay, we have our room. Now, you'll notice the room down here in the corner, there and there. You'll see it tells you the X position and Y position. You'll see this later. This is zero, zero way up here. As you go to the right, the X's are getting bigger. And as you go down, the Y's get bigger. This is the opposite of math class, where Y's usually get bigger going up. So just so you know that, that that zero, zero, and way over here, is your 640, or 640, 448. Okay, not bad. Now, technically you have a game here. Let's hit the save button. And when we hit this play button, it's going to jump to this room and run it. So you may as well see what it looks like. And there you go. You got yourself a little game already made and running. Of course, nothing happens because you haven't had any events and code and actions yet. But that's going to be in the next video. We'll get these guys moving. So hopefully that first one was okay. You're going to see your challenge now uh, before we add the movement is going to be to get player two in there. You want to give player two their own sprite, player two their own ball. You want to give player two their own object and give player two their own ball object as well. Put player two in the room. Hit run. If it all works okay, you're ready for the uh, next lesson video. Thanks for watching.